this is the couscous powder or grains it's a mixture of whole wheat couscous and white couscous i ran out of the whole wheat so i added a cup so i have a cup of white couscous and two cups and a half of whole wheat i will add to it a dash of salt about one teaspoon and cinnamon about half a teaspoon and of course olive oil about two teaspoons I will mix it and then I will add water and you need to use your hands of course you wash your hands before using them you wash them very well to incorporate the oil the salt and the cinnamon in the couscous it's fine grain I added the water and I mix I added about one cup all in all I will do about two cups of water to the mixture and uh, you need to use your hand and this is the movement called Keskes Keskes el couscous <laughs> In a big pot that comes with a steamer you know, we call this Keskes I filled the pot, three-fourths of the pot with water I will put dry orange peel you don't have to it's just that I like it and of course a dash of cinnamon when the water boils, I will put, I'll put this on top. When the water boils, I will put the couscous in the steamer and let it steam for 45 minutes to an hour. Now that the couscous absorbed its water, it feels a bit softer. I ended up using a cup and a half of cold water. And I remind you that I put cinnamon and salt. I will transfer it to the steamer and let it steam because the water, I hear it boiling. Okay, so the couscous is in the steamer. The steamer is on the pot with water and I will cover it with a clean towel and let it steam for an hour, 45 minutes. That's it. So that the steam doesn't escape from this, I'm going to use this um, to make it go around and save all the steam. Believe it or not, this is my Giorgio Armani um, top of my bed sheet that I washed and I'm recycling it and using it. Um, it's from my dowry, it got old and it ripped off. So um, I'm now using it for my cascas which is where I steam my couscous. This is how the couscous looks like after being steamed for um, 45 minutes. I think it's ready. Feels soft. Yep, fluffy. I will add some uh, ghee to it and then the stew and serve it. I'll show you how I do that. So this is the couscous and this is the ghee. I'm using this one, clarified butter or ghee. You can use any, even regular butter. It's just to give it a bit of flavor. About one and a half teaspoon. After I fluffed the couscous and uh, mixed the ghee in, I will add the sauce, the stew. trying not to take any of the veggies. Voila. 
it's okay if we have those chickpeas. They escaped. I will mix it, fluff it, and then I'll show you the final product. Be generous with this too. Don't be afraid. It will absorb it. I'd say this is my fifth ladle. Good. Now I will mix it. This is how the couscous should look like after I put the sauce. I'm going to make the grain, you see. I will taste it for to taste the salt. Mmm. Really yummy. And soft. Mmm. Very yummy. Um, for those boxed couscous, um, you know, you can follow the instruction and then just put this to or uh, the instructions that are in the box or what you can do also if you have like a steamer with big holes put a clean towel and then put the couscous on top of the towel and then steam the couscous fluff it like I showed you and you should be good uh, I'm using um, a homemade couscous that my mom sent me from Tunisia 